And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to float text into an object. You can use a simple text function here that's called flow into frame. And then let's just create two objects, for example a rectangle. Color doesn't really play a role for the text, let me make that red. The size, we can adjust it right now. But I'm going to show you as well what happens if we adjust it later on. Let me also create a star. And now I need the text. I use the type tool, click on the canvas and press Ctrl V. I've got a simple lorem ipsum text that was created by generator. I make sure it's selected, hold shift and click on rectangle and then I go to text flow into frame. And there it is. It's quite small in relation to the rectangle. So let me select it, go to the A, the type tool and I increase the size. It's resized within the frame of this object. You can still resize the text. Let me press Ctrl Z here. We can also select the rectangle and resize that. And the text is automatically adjusted to this new frame of the object. You can also rotate it, click on it again. And once again, the text is adjusted automatically. You can see right now it has a left align. So most often you want to have a center align. So let me go to the A again, but make sure you've got the text selected and not the rectangle. And then you can play around with the alignment right here. It's still treated as regular text. So you can select individual words, for example, and give them a different color. If you want to release the text from the frame, just select it all then go to text and unflow. And the text will pop up somewhere on your canvas. Let me show you something else. If you, for example, have the object on a higher level of hierarchy. So for example, right here, the star is on top of the text and you select them both with the shift click. And you go to text and flow it into the frame. You can see the text isn't visible. It's still in the frame, but it's in behind the star. So the stacking order is important. Let me select it all. And then I unflow and here's our text again. And I make sure the text is on top. So if I pull the star right there, you can see that the star is in the background. Shift click on both texts and then flow into frame. And this is how you can flow text into an object in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.